focal point digital backdrops. So I'd like to thank you for taking the time to checking out my tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at two different versions of the Santa looking down at the picture frame backdrop. The first one will be in the PNG format and the second one will be in the PDF format. I also sell it in the JPEG and PSD. So first off let's look at the PNG version of the file. Um, the, as you see here this is the empty background set. This is what you get when you purchase the PNG uh, with the checkered part in the middle of the, back, the picture frame where your uh, picture will be going. So uh, just to the left of it here, this is what I'm going to be inserting into the picture frame. It's my dog Hope. She didn't seem very happy when I took this picture, but for these purposes uh, it will work fine. We're going to grab the move tool and we're just going to drag this picture over right into the picture frame backdrop and let it go here. As you can see, a new layer was created when I did that, layer two, and uh, this is above the, the backdrop. Now we're gonna want layer two to be underneath. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna grab layer two, drag it beneath layer one, and it pops right into the picture frame. Now the size of it is off, so what we're gonna do is press Control T on the keyboard that's going to select the picture that we want to adjust. Hold the shift key as you resize the picture. This keeps the aspect ratio as you adjust the picture. So I'm just going to do that a couple times, a bit of an adjustment, and put it right there. And uh, yeah, it's as simple as that. I'm going to go ahead and press the check mark above to save the changes in the toolbar. Click File and Save As to move forward. Next, we're going to do the same exact thing except using the PDF version of the backdrop. And this one is set up a little differently in the layers part, in the layers palette, you can notice that there's two. One says Santa later, layer and one says your image. You're going to select your image, go to file, and you're going to click place linked. This will open up the file explorer, find the picture that you want to use. We're going to use hope again and click place. Now this will place it directly into the picture frame with a different looking resize box, but same concept. You're going to hold down the shift key, grab a corner, and resize it to your preference. That looks good there. Click check mark, and you're done. As you can see, in about a minute, I was able to do two edits very quickly, very simply. Um, I hope this video was helpful to you. Like and subscribe for more video updates. I'm planning on doing a lot more. Um, thank you for watching and thank you for your purchase. Everyone, take care.